Hi, and uh, welcome to the Hobi case study uh, which we are showing you today. Um, I would very much like to welcome you, Robert Nielsen from uh, Born Green Technologies. Uh, my name is uh, Oliver Mueller, uh, and I'm from the data center team of uh, Cisco here in Switzerland. So maybe Robert, if you could take a moment and introduce yourself, please. Thank you, Oliver. So um, as, a, as a service company here in Switzerland, uh, we are, we are uh, focused on effective and efficient use of IT and working very, very close with Cisco as an ATP partner for technologies like EnergyWise Suite, uh, Service Grid, uh, to just name a few. And uh, today we'll talk about the EnergyWise Suite. Cool. So let's have a look at what we are going to see today. Um, the most important, obviously, is Hulbi. It's uh, your customer, uh, your client. Um, then, of course, as well, um, you as uh, our uh, partner of Cisco and how you use our systems uh, for the client and to uh, bring an end-to-end -end architecture uh, and a solution uh, to him. Uh, and we are, all, of course, happy to see that this is all based on Cisco technology. So I think let's have a look at what it really is. Yes. I mean, this is really looks really cool. Um, maybe Robert, um, we go into the components a bit later, but maybe you could show us uh, why uh, or, or tell us why did the, the client uh, actually decide for this uh, Cisco unified data center solution. I see a lot of components uh, but but why did he actually go for this? So uh, when the client came to us last year, um, the requirements was quite clear. They um, they are going to go to a co-located environment, so mm -hmm. it's really really important to use the resources in a in a very um, uh, in a very managed way. Uh, they also looked at the solution that has the performance and scalability yeah. for the future growth, and also the flexibility uh, with adding Ethernet, SAN uh, storage perhaps to this solution, and of course a management, okay. a unified management which could uh, then serve the whole solution. And since the client has is mostly remote, uh, we are doing the on-site uh, on support, but the remote management of this is done by the client. They needed one interface. Okay, so, very cool. So we actually have, we have seen uh, it's for future growth, uh, it is massively scalable, um, you have a converged network inside of it uh, to use, um, and uh, you are also uh, the unified management which helps the customer actually maintain the whole thing, uh, but also gives you the possibility of, of a fast response. So uh, maybe are you planning on, on expanding, uh, how is the customer on its way? Yes, so what we see here uh, is the phase one of the solution. So um, in here, uh, we are now seeing the migrated clients from the earlier platform, as well as the new R&D for new software solutions for, for Hulbi. Mm -hmm. And this will follow for a, with a phase two in, the, in 2014. So absolutely, it's okay. key to have the, the scalability and performance that this type of Cisco network is uh, given. Okay, so let's see, have a look at the customer, let's have a look at Hulbi and why they actually need uh, this scalable uh, unified data center solution. Sure. So uh, looking at Hulbi, Hulbi is a Swiss software technology company which is um, uh, experts in the, um, the unstructured data. So we're talking about the big data. They focus on e-commerce, software mm -hmm. as a service and all in the in the area of uh, cloud computing, okay. um, which is is a fantastic fit for for a Cisco uh, UCS platform, uh, specifically on the on the C series today. Uh, but we will see also the, the flexibility to add other components like the B series, etc., for the future. Okay, very cool. So actually, the, a customer really focused. Um, also, you, uh, you, you mentioned search engine, engines, so also big data. I think really a customer that uh, you don't see it actually right away, but actually uh, the solution in the background, it's, it's based on, on big data. Correct. Cool. So, uh, let's have a look at the components, uh, maybe a bit more in detail of this uh, whole stack. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what we see here 
on the side, we see the, the platform, so the different type of functionalities in, in the racks, the mm -hmm. two racks we have today in the phase one, which is then uh, the proxy servers, the, the web servers, management and um, backup servers. Mm -hmm. And um, this gives really a, a very flexible platform to add on hoc um, proof of concept, new R&D areas, um, and, um, and also uh, flexibility later on for adding uh, other equipment like storage, etc. Very cool. So actually, you use the measure PDUs, they take out data. We will see that later on in the live demo. Uh, how you see that really uh, coming into the dashboard live, uh, yeah. also connecting uh, and importing everything from UCS Manager uh, and also using that XML API from, from the UCS to actually uh, connect to it and, and read all the, all the power data uh, out of the servers. Correct, Oliver. So it's very, very flexible. And what we will see here, we see the, uh, the PDUs. So each of the racks have PDUs in the back end. Mm -hmm. where all the equipment is, um, is connected to. So we're measuring the, the real-time plug load from all the PDUs, which gives us the absolute account. And then we measure all the, the network devices, okay. as well as servers uh, that is coming in, and even the virtual machines, okay. which, is a, which is a great add-on uh, to this solution. And we then get all the information we need mm -hmm. to give the client uh, uh, the information to to do decisions yeah. about how to use the energy more wisely. Okay. So I think uh, let's not just talk about it. let's look at the at the real solution and I'll just hop over and uh, pull up the, the, the dashboard. Yes. So now we are real time in um, in the data center in Zug, and what we see here is the uh, the dashboard. So the dashboard is the first thing that you see on the EnergyWise management suite, which is a very flexible, customizable um, view that can be done for, for different functionalities at the client, um, being that the, uh, the, uh, from, from a management point of view or from an engineering point of view, it can really be adjusted per user. And this gives a, a lot of benefits to, to, uh, to this solution. If we are looking at the, uh, the policy, if we are going um, left to right, you see the policy tab. Policy tab is really where you actually do all the return of investment. So uh, first step at each implementation is to measure the current plug load and to get an overview of how the solution is, is working, where is the energy actually taken from the IT devices in the solution, and then in a second phase, use policies to actually more, more intelligent use the energy and, um, and to save money for the client. On the devices, we can click the device overview. And uh, here we see all the devices in real time. So this is a mix right now based on the, uh, the PDUs. We also see the, the network equipment and the UCS uh, servers. So um, this gives a, a real-time uh, overview of all the devices' um, energy consumption. On the import, another extremely interesting part of the, of the EnergyWise uh, management suite is the asset connectors, which makes it very, very simple to import uh, devices you don't need to take device per device. You can really go to the asset connectors. And Oliver just clicked up the, the UCS manager, which is a great example. We imported 48 servers in a matter of about minutes with the UCS manager. Um, all you need to do is to point to the, to the URL and use the username and, and password credentials uh, in, the, in the network. The same um, thing we have for for Active Directory, for the Communication Manager from Cisco, and several other uh, uh, management systems, which makes it very, very simple to implement this solution. On the report side, we have a lot of reports already, uh, pre-done reports in the, in the, uh, in the suite, uh, where you can get 
uh, all from uh, cost savings, carbon, carbon uh, footprint and savings. And um, you can also use the, the car custom reports for making special customer need reports, which is a very, very strong uh, functionality with the platform. So overall, if we go back to the, to the dashboard, Oliver, So all in all, what we see here is really we are taking the, the full, the full uh, amount of power from the PDUs in each of the racks, which gives us the absolute power that is used. We are also looking at all the data center devices up here, which is all the UCS servers, all the, all the network components, so we can make a, a wise comparison between the both and then give the clients the, the, um, the best, the best um, uh, material to make decisions based on policies for the future. Okay, so uh, very cool. Uh, Robert, uh, that you could show us this really live. It was on the live system of the customer Holby. Um, and uh, maybe in short, how is uh, Born Green Technologies working and uh, how is that end-to-end -end architecture coming all together? Yes, so Oliver, we got founded in 2012. Uh, we are based in Zug in Switzerland. And our key motto is uh, effective and efficient use of IT technologies. So we are looking constantly at the, at the whole landscape and working strategically with vendors like Cisco uh, to identify technology that brings operational excellence resource reduction and sustainable efficiencies. What we mean with resource reduction is not only energies, which we talked about with the Energy Wise Suite today, but it's also optimizing process and reducing the waste in organizations where we are uh, working with, with other technologies like from Cisco with the, with the service grid, which we are also ATP partner, just as an example. Okay, so maybe if you could Tell us uh, more um, about the big picture. Um, I see a lot of components. I see our from, from the data center side, I see the uh, uh, UCS uh, system, but I also see a lot of other uh, Cisco components in here. If you could maybe uh, uh, show us um, how this all comes together. Yes. So what we, what we know today is that we have an explosion of connected devices and the internet of everything is, is in our daily lives. So what we see also in the enterprise is more and more devices being connected to the network and powered by the network. So here's a couple of examples. So we see the workplace uh, where we have the, the Cisco Thin clients. Um, we also see um, the IP telephony from Cisco where you can use the energy wise. So also um, UC communications, right, Robert? The, the unified communications, absolutely. A lot of clients out there have uh, IP telephones from Cisco. Uh, not using the energy wise is, um, is not bringing the advantage like the, the, um, the additional uh, plus feature from, from Cisco, which you use with the, with the energy wise. This is just examples. Uh, data center, we just mentioned the whole cloud and um, enablement through the service grid, which will be something more and more important. We'll see a lot of that 2014. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we heard, we heard that from you. I mean, that the customer actually now migrating from another country into, into Switzerland, into, into your data center. I mean, just an example of how uh, this is actually possible today with our technology. Absolutely. And the... Uh, the last but not least point I wanted to say is about the new devices. So we have the unified PoE 60 watt technology uh, with a lot of Cisco uh, switches. We see that coming more and more on the four four and a half thousand. It's coming on other switch ranges now, uh, where you're actually using 60 watt technology to power devices that you couldn't power before. So examples of that are the the video surveillance uh, systems. Uh, we see here the, the, the trading, trading telephones, that is collaboration between Cisco and, and uh, BT. Um, the telepresence systems, the EX60, yeah. which you can power over the, exactly. the network. And all in all, this will come more and more 
and you need you have one thing connecting all of these yeah. and that's the network right which Cisco is bringing and you need one tool to to manage and get a holistic view of all of these devices and that's the energy wise suite yeah. which you see right. here in the top perfect so actually really a, a real life example of the internet of everything more and more devices getting connected to the network a real customer uh, we saw real benefits uh, for the customer we, uh, we have seen in the dashboard uh, what the customer can can extract from this uh, really uh, also benefit uh, cost wise in the data center uh, especially for cost sensitive things like web servers web services uh, search engines and obviously uh, a whole big data solutions Absolutely. So and the last, the last yeah. point that I wanted to add here, Oliver, is the, the, uh, the whole energy cost uh, and the, the topic about energy. Mm -hmm. uh, we hear it more and more each day, but especially in these type of environment, in data center environments, um, and in the co-located environment where you're taking the energy cost and the whole factors around with cooling, etc., is reflected in the energy cost for the client. It's a very big portion of the actual co-location cost. So these type of solutions, simple to implement and gives a lot of kickback to the, to the client. Okay. So thank you very much, Robert Nielsen from Born Green Technologies, uh, who will be the customer uh, that enables us to show this. And uh, thank you very much for being with us here today and showing this very cool solution based on a unified data center and a lot of uh, other technologies. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you, Oliver.